Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong are jack stands. And this time we are not going to try to eyeball it from the pressure meter like we did for a couple of years ago for some reason. You couldn't see shit from that. But today we have our 150 ton force sensor under the car jacks. And then we are going to really see how strong these are. And we can't do the like uh, car jacks because they are so oddly shaped that they are really hard to measure. But we are going to do different type of uh, jack stands. And we are going to try this model with and without the safety pin. I'm because it should stay up like this. But I want to know is this to make it sure that it doesn't pump down by accident or will this make it any stronger. So I think we are going to first crush like this without the safety pin. Okay, and my guess is that this is going to take over eight tons. My wife says six and Twitchat says five tons or less. So let's see who is right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, now it's going. What? Okay, I have to say that at least I didn't win. It, it, was, it was between the uh, Twitch chat's opinion and my wife's opinion. So everybody else wins and I lose. <laughs> and let's see what is wrong with the jack. It's hard to say we don't see inside, but it's like this is this is clearly broken the mechanism. So I think that the safety pin is going to make it stronger. So I think I'm going to keep my guess as an eight and a half tons, and let's see will the safety pin make it as strong as I thought that it's going to be. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to finish this off on the end of the video. I don't want to crush it all the way on top of the sensor because it's quite loose setup. But I have to say that my guess, finally, it was pretty goddamn good. It was only 60 kilos off and it still broke from the like same spot because the uh, frame of the thing is fine. And now we just save this off also. So this adds the three tons. So I think this is mainly because this mechanism, I think you can like pump it slightly and it goes down. I just realized that we have to do one more crush with this because this is the first one where this is broken and that's the same situation as when you accidentally pump this open and only the safety pin is going to hold it. So is the safety pin strong enough to meet the two ton target that they promised for the jack stand? Of course it's like slightly broken now so it's not completely fair but let's give it a try anyways. I say that it's going to be over two tons. It was really strong now because just the mechanism like five tons, safety pin and mechanism eight tons and just the safety pin five tons. So shouldn't it be like 10 tons in total? <laughs> yeah, I think they like cats on slightly different uh, positions. So first you break one and then you break the second one. So it's, it's not like holding at the same time. 
Yeah, but it clearly works as I said. And now we have more simple aluminium jack design. It's just two pipes with the pin on the middle, holding them together. And this is rated for uh, three tons, so I'm going to say that it's going to take ten. And my wife thinks only six. So let's see. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh, oh, what the hell? Yeah, that was pretty strong. And I think it's too flimsy setup to crush the actual pipe here. But we are going to do this also on the end of the video without the sensor. But uh, yeah, I went a bit over, but was it like 12 tons? Yeah, we can see it here on the replay, but well over 10 tons. So this is really strong design. It's interesting, it's, it's, it's like this. Yeah, and then we have the basic scissor check next and this is rated for 1.5 tons and it's so flimsy that I say that it's going to take only two and my wife is a bit more optimistic with three tons Ooh. surprisingly strong uh -oh. Oh, 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 it was about to throw itself and the sensor to the left side of the press, so we had to stop. And then we are going to raise the table, get rid of the sensor and finish off the jack stands. Okay, and now is the round where we just crush everything and don't measure anything. Okay, and I thought before this crush that it might explode, so I had the uh, blast shield really close to the press, so there wouldn't be any gaps to stuff fly to the windows, but uh, what happened is that it, <laughs> it did it again, but this time it was window next to the window that we broke last year, that we haven't fixed, and it was only one glass out of four, so didn't go all the way, but I think we have to now fix the windows. Okay, and then the last one, and this has the cast iron rod in the middle, and I'm really worried about that. <laughs> and the aluminium that I wasn't worried at all, it even exploded. And we are of course behind like safety shield, so we are not going to get hit. But I don't want to like get things flying out of the press still, there is a lot of things to break on the workshop, so now it's in the safety box. It's really hard to cross that one. Yeah, but I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have this alien from Venus. It just let out really bad fart and we can smell it all the way here. So it's extremely dangerous and we have to deal with it.